Hi YouTube, this is the third time I've tried to do this. I got my stats right. Okay, so today is my nine week, um, ninth week out from my VSG surgery, which I had on May 4th, 2017 at Essentia Health Mar St. Mary's in Duluth, Minnesota with Dr. Matthew Bettendorf. Um, my highest weight ever was 240 pounds and my um, weight before surgery, just before surgery, so this would be after my liquid diet, was 217.9 or 218 point, or pounds. So as of today, I weigh 181.2, and that is a 3.2 loss from six a week ago. So um, my current weight now, brings me in at, as a total weight loss for my highest weight what is 58 pounds, 58.8 pounds, almost 60 pounds. Excuse the fan, it's really hot here. Um, and then from the start of my VS journey, I've lost 43 pounds. The pre-liquid diet weight was, I've lost 41.3. And the pre-surgery weight, I've lost 36.8. And so that is my current stats. I am, my name is Karine. And I am 55 years old and I am five foot two inches tall. So that is my up my stats for this week. Um, I've had a little bit of difficulty. I've had some occasions when I've had um, uh, dumping syndrome. I don't know what I ate, which was weird because I haven't eaten any sweets, but there are certain things that I can't eat. Um, I found cold, coleslaw was one of them. I couldn't eat it. Um, I ate it twice and the third, the third or yeah, the third time I ate it, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't, it uh, wouldn't go down. So, or it wouldn't stay down. So anyway, I had a couple dumping experiences and I'm not real happy about that. Um, I, um, have been walking and working out a lot more in that I've been, um, working on the house that we've been cleaning out. Um, I've spent hours and hours and hours there lifting boxes and lifting books and putting things in the garbage and taking the garbage out and vacuuming and all that kind of stuff. We've been, I've been really busy with that. Um, hasn't given us much time to do any walking even, although I did get my walks in three or four days this last week, plus what I was doing at the house. Uh, and so, and then yesterday I woke up with vertigo. So yesterday was a down day for me. I literally can't go anywhere. I can't drive when I have vertigo because you can't even turn your head from side to side because it makes me dizzy. And so um, yesterday was my down day and I didn't really do much of anything. And then last night, yesterday was also really hot here and humid. So it was uh, in the south of us here, it was 100 degrees and very humid. So we get like 90% humidity when we get humid here. So it's really hot. And I don't do good in hot weather. I found I thought maybe with my heart ablation that I had done a year ago and um, and the weight loss, it w it wouldn't bother me as much. But it really does bother me. I do not like the the heat at all. So anyway, that's kind of what my week went like. I've had my I didn't have my granddaughters last week because Dad was home, and so I've had them this week um, after because he went back to work on Tuesday night because of um, July 4th. And so I've had them yesterday, today, and I'll have them tomorrow. So I'm back to watching the girls. And so um, we were gonna go swimming yesterday, but I couldn't go because I was sick. Even riding in a car makes me sick. So my husband did all my errands for me yesterday. I really appreciated it. And um, so uh, I've been having some difficulty with clothing. Um, I have all my clothes out here and I need to go through them and I might even do that tonight yet and, th and get rid of all of the ones that are too big for me. I'm, I don't have a lot of smaller clothes in summer clothes type thing so I'm wearing this, this one size fits all dress because it's cool and I bought it at a fair many many years ago and it's always comfortable. It doesn't matter what size I am because um, it's got a belt on the back, so I just tie it. And it's tie dye. I know I'm. It's a throwback to the '70s, but um, I loved it when I saw it. And my daughters actually told me that this little—I don't know if you can see it—but this little thing right here is the heart of Tafiti. Yeah, from Moana, because it's a swirl. They thought that was pretty cool that there was a swirl in Oma's dress. 
And so, um, anyway, but I'm having difficulty. I'm, I've only got like a one pair of shorts that I can, that is comfortable, or that fits me. And then I have my old um, athletic pants that the elastic still sits, fits on me, but they're really, really big now. So my daughter keeps telling me to go to the thrift shop and get some clothes in, for the interim, and I really don't want to do that, but I think I probably will have to because I have jeans and stuff that are smaller, but I don't have like shorts and I guess I could wear skirts and stuff like that too. I've got some skirts that would um, work, but anyway, so I've been having that difficulty and I, and like everybody else, I don't want to go and buy a lot of clothes if I'm going to just grow out of them or yeah, get smaller. So I've been, I'm too frugal for my own good, but um, uh, we have a washing machine and dryer in the bottom of our basement or in our apartment. And so I need to do that, but I need to walk over and get quarters. And so I haven't done that because I was sick yesterday. So maybe I'll get some of that done tonight too. Maybe I'll get outside after it cools down a little bit. We are supposed to get some rain tonight, so I'm hoping that it rains and cools things down. We had a thunderstorm, a big thunderstorm this morning at 4.30, and I was still just a little bit dizzy, so I didn't get out of bed even. I just shut the windows and went back to bed and um, and then uh, went back to sleep until probably about 8 o'clock, I think. And um, when I woke up, I felt much better. So. Hopefully the rocks in my ears or my head are back where they're supposed to be. That's usually what causes vertigo in my case. So, all right, I was really glad to see some of um, some of you come back. Um, I watched several videos today, and um, let's see if I can check my history. Um, I'm watching. Um, I watched Amber M today. I caught up on a couple of her videos, and Aubrey in Wonderland. It was good to see you again. Um, it's been a while, and I love your hat, by the way. That was absolutely cute. And so I'm hoping that you're doing good, and I know things are tough um, when you're thinking about maintenance and how to keep things off, and so I'm actually thinking about that already and how I'm going to do that. I'm kind of worried because I have a tendency to fall into my old habits. And watch Kitty Shrink. I've been watching yours. I've got almost all of yours watched. The last one I, was wa I watched was week 39 post-op. So I'll be catching up here pretty soon. Um, when my husband's not here, I can just let him run. And so that's what I've been doing. So um, congratulations on all your weight loss and your successes. That's wonderful. And I miss um, Made Up Mama. I haven't heard anything from you lately. And Jody and um, Minnie Me in Tennessee. So I'm hoping that within the next week, I'll hear something from you guys because you guys really inspire me to keep going. And I want to thank uh, Lisa from Mini, Mini Me in Tennessee for your comments on on my video. Uh, I really appreciate that you're encouraging me because I was very frustrated last week, and I I know this is probably totally normal, and I shouldn't worry about it, but I do um, because I think I might be doing the wrong things, or and then I'm finding that a lot of the foods that I should be eating don't go down well. So then um, I, I eat my protein first and then I have no room for vegetables. And so I'm very frustrated. I just, I'm not quite sure what to do as far as the food. Um, I've been eating some beans, which I love beans. Um, so I've been eating those and they don't seem to bother me. I've been eating from breakfast. I had, had chili, we had chili so much we're really out of the mood of chili. Um, we've kind of burned that bridge for a little while anyway, but um, it's just been, you know, when I eat the, the protein, enough protein, then I'm full and I can't eat any vegetables and that kind of stuff. And it kind of bothers me because I know vegetables are important. And um, yesterday I didn't even take my vitamins because I was afraid I was going to throw them up because with vertigo you, you get nauseous and so I didn't take them. Um, today I will take my vitamins. I usually take them in the evening with my evening meal because it's bigger. So, so anyway. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I've, I've been loving the videos and keep them coming. Keep encouraging us. Oh, and looking on the lighter side of life, um, uh, Jan Silva, you, you were just, I just love watching your videos. You're so carefree and you just don't, you just, you know, things just roll off your back and I need to do that more. I need to just let things roll off my back and just do the, do the stuff I'm supposed to do and not worry so much about it. But thank you for all your encouragement and thank you for posting um, your struggles and your successes and making us feel like this is just a process. Just keep doing it and you'll be fine. So um, I, I look forward to your daily um, videos and I know it's, it's 
it's hard to do daily videos, so um, I applaud you for doing that. So thank you very much. All right, so um, not much else going. Just keep praying for me, please. I need your prayers, and I need your support. And um, if you, if you're this is the first time you're watching me, um, then uh, subscribe right below and like my videos. And um, I will do an update again next week for my tenth week um, surge anniversary. I guess that's what you call it. And we'll see how things go this coming week. Uh, this weekend looks to be um, like I might get some time out walking. Um, we have a visiting minister coming up on Sabbath to preach, and so I'm really excited about that. Conrad Vine is, is an Englishman who um, is a member of our church here in the States now, and he is wonderful. I just love his sermons. I love his, his talks. So we're looking forward to that. We have a very, very small church. There's only about seven or eight or nine of us, ten on a good day. And this week will be potluck, but I don't do potlucks because there's really nothing I can eat there. Um, so I'll probably bring some beans that I can, you know, warm up in the microwave really quick. And um, then I don't know if he will be able to join us for potluck, but it'll be, it would be fun if he could. But um, he's a good speaker. So if you've never um, listened to Conrad Vine, he is on YouTube and has some videos from our camp meeting there. He's a wonderful person. So um, anyway, uh, and so Sunday I probably will be working on the house again. Um, we need to clean it up so that we can have a sale for all of the big pieces that we, we have left in the house. And um, we need to sell the car also. So if you're looking for a 2008 Impala, I got one. And it's got 71,000 actual miles on it, and it's $6,000. <laughs> Not to sell anything, but I just mention it. If you're in the Grand Rapids area, um, it's sitting out in the yard so you can see it. And so, uh, but yeah, we gotta. I, I need to get this done. I've been working with lawyers since March, and I'm tired of it. And um, I want to get the bills paid, and I want to get this over. I'm tired of it. My back is killing me, so uh, it's it's a long process. Okay, so not to end on a bad note, but one of these days this next week, if it's hot, I plan to go to the beach and see if I can get my body in the water, which I haven't done in nearly 25 years. I absolutely love swimming, but there was no way I was putting myself in a bathing suit and going swimming, even with my family. So I haven't been swimming for a long, long time. I did go swimming in a pool once, but I don't like pools. They burn my eyes. But I'm going to go to where I grew up, the lake that we grew up on, and the lake I used to walk a half a mile one way to every day, six, seven times a day, to go swimming all day long because we were lake people. And I'm going to go there with my granddaughters and see if we can get some swimming in. So I'm going to try to do that this week. So I'll tell you next week if I did that. And I'd like to do a video on a walk. And so I'm going to see if I can do that. Just, I got to remember that. I've got my camera and my phone with me all the time. So it wouldn't be that much to do one. So I'm going to do that um, hopefully this next week. One or the other will get done. One or the other. All right. Well, thanks a lot. And I will talk to you all next week. Good luck, everyone. And keep fighting the fight. Keep keeping on and we will get through this and then when we get to that maintenance level um i'm i'm hoping that we'll all be prepared to keep going on that maintenance level so all right everybody goodbye and you guys have a good week all right i love you all bye bye